Hey, Sean, it is November 2022 and I wanted to go through what's in my camera bag. And what you need to know before we get started is that I shoot primarily documentary style short films for nonprofits and educational institutions. And so typically I'm doing seated interviews and then getting B-roll that supports those narratives. And so all of my audio gear is in a separate bag that I've made a video about. I'll put a link somewhere to that. Um, and then my drone bag is a different bag as is my gimbal bag. But so everything that fits in here is all of my imaging stuff and the lenses I actually use to bring this stuff to life. Um, but to start with, the bag I use is the F-Stop Ajna. This is a really, really well-built bag. I've had this for six years or something like that. And I use it, it is the only bag I've used. It is an incredible bag, tons of pockets. It's geared toward really extreme stuff. And the side pockets are actually designed to hold ice axes. If you're gonna like do ice climbing, that's what they're designed for. Um, but they also work a charm to fit a tripod leg in and you can secure a tripod on the side. I'm using my three-legged thing, Patty tripod right now to hold my phone uh, as I make this video because my camera's inside here so I can show it to you. But a really, really well done bag that holds everything and you can access everything from the back flap. And I like this because when you set the bag down, some bags open from the side that's not touching your back. And so when you set the bag down, you have to set the part that's gonna touch your back on the ground and it gets dirty. So I like this that I can set the dirty side down on the ground and it's never gonna touch my back. Now I can, I can access all of the gear through this flap. It's a wonderful little access panel. Um, they make different, what they call ICUs, internal camera units. They make different sizes. And so if you want a smaller one, then, then above it, you can hold some clothing. If you're hiking or camping or something like that, you can put two separate cases. You could put your drone case up here and a camera case down here. You get to decide. I have the extra large ICU, which I can barely reach the top pocket of, but that's fine because I don't usually reach what's up there. Everything I use is here. But... Most of the time I'm not out and about where I need this on my back nonstop. I use my cart or I'm in a, a place where I can access my truck frequently. So the cool thing about these camera units is they come completely out of the bag. Now, when I'm on a shoot, I love working out of these because they're soft. They're not as bulky as a Pelican. They're not as durable, but when I, when I travel like this, um, I'm traveling locally. I'm putting it from my truck onto my cart and from my cart back onto my truck. It's not like I need to throw it down a flight of stairs or hand it to the TSA. I have cases for that, um, or I carry this on as a backpack when I do that. Um, but walking you through what's in here from camera to lenses to accessories, this is what I use to make all of my images. Now, my main camera that I shoot with, my only camera that I shoot with is the Sony a7S III. And I get that this is very much the same camera as the Sony FX3, but the big difference for me is that the a7S III has the electronic viewfinder. And for what I do, if I'm going inside and outside and I don't wanna build out a huge rig and have a sun hood over my monitors and stuff, the electronic viewfinder is so helpful for being, to, for being able to quickly see your image when you're outside. Even if it's mounted on a gimbal, you can put your face up next to it and check your exposure, check your focus, uh, and make sure that your image is looking good. If the sun is beating down on every other screen that's exposed to the sun, this handy little thing goes a long, long way, and that's the reason why I choose the a7S III over the FX3. My main lens that I keep on here is the 24 to 70 f 2.8 G Master. It's a great zoom, a, a good range, that is f2.8 all throughout the range. I'm sure you've heard of this lens before. Um, the other lens that I bring with me is the 70 to 200 f2.8 G Master lens by Sony. Um, just a great throw, really, really sharp lens. I know they have a newer version of this. I haven't bothered updating yet, but I do like that the new one is lighter. This thing is a little bit heavy, but all lenses made when this lens was made are a little bit heavy, but a great lens um, for the B camera of interview shooting or for getting some really intimate B roll footage, um, handy lens. The other lens that I bring with me is the Sony 20 millimeter F 1.8 G lens. Uh, and while this is 20 millimeters and this goes to 24, you might not think it's that different. Where it's really different is A, you've got a little bit more light that can make it in here because it's F 1.8, but also it's lighter and smaller and a little bit wider. And so I fly this on my gimbal all the time. This is my main lens that I put on the gimbal to get that really wide shot, to get the dramatic gimbal moves, to get establishing shots of locations and stuff like that. 
this lens, that little bit of extra width on the lens goes a long way uh, and its form factor makes it much easier to balance on a gimbal uh, and I don't have to worry about focus shifting the weight or anything like that or, or zooming at all while I'm operating. Handy little lens, also fun to shoot photos with. Next up for getting imaging, I have my small HD Teradek monitors. I've got the five inch focus and the seven inch focus. They have the Teradek 500 system built in. And so this can wirelessly transmit the image to this. And so especially when I'm operating on a gimbal, putting this on my camera and handing this to my director so that they can see what I'm seeing without having to bring the gimbal over every time or having them chase me down a hallway looking over my shoulder to see if I got the shot. This goes a long way to making that easier. But I also use it quite a bit for interviews not wirelessly. You can plug HDMI into the bottom of this and I can monitor a camera on a much bigger screen than this. Uh, five inch, seven inch. Seven inch makes quite a bit of a difference when you're talking about the diagonal. So love these and I don't think they're necessary. They're really nice to check focus and they're really, really nice to check exposure when I'm shooting. Um, but ultimately they're, they're a very nice to have item that if I don't bring them, it's not the end of the world, but they do fit easily in my bag. Sunhood, and this brings me to a tiny tangent. I can't fit in my camera bag or anywhere in my bag this. This is the Polar Pro Base Camp. This is the matte box and ND filter system that I use that screws onto the front of my lenses. I love that it's interchangeable. The problem with Sony lenses is you cannot put a filter on the camera and a sunhood. If you try to put this on the end of the lens and it's got a filter on it, this will not fit. And I hated having to choose between do I want to have the sun off the front of my lens or have an ND filter on there, especially as I was filming fire trucks outside quite a bit. I wanted both. And so I invested in the map box system uh, and I love it, but it doesn't fit in my bag conveniently. But this is the other thing that's always going where I go, but I do just have to carry it separately. And as soon as I get to where I'm going, I put it on the camera and I don't take it off. Now the last things in my camera bag are important things that never ever leave my camera bag. Um, first off, little air blaster. This is the Zeiss lens cleaning kit one. Um, when you've got mirrorless cameras, especially making sure that your sensor is clean when you're switching lenses, um, that's paramount. This is a multi-tool that I don't know the last time I ever used the knife or pliers or anything on this. I just leave the screwdriver out and this is what I use to put on tripod plates. Um, and so I just keep that here where I can pull it out, put on my tripod plates and be done with it. I keep a pair of ear pods, earbuds. Uh, these are wired earbuds. These are the ones even, they're like the normal headphone one, uh, which I don't even know if you can find anymore like this. But these aren't like the most wonderful thing for checking audio levels, but to make sure that you don't have a lot of interference to check your levels, make sure nothing is clipping or anything like that. These take up no space in the bag and they're essential to making sure that you've got good audio. The only thing that's not in this bag that is usually in this bag is this. I keep the VD VMic D3 Pro in my bag and I like the D4 that just came out. I'd love to test it. Uh, I haven't yet, but this one, it gets a little bit big, especially with a shock mount. I'd love to store it a little differently, but that always stays in my bag. And that's the, the microphone I use sometimes to get the actual audio um, of what I'm filming. But a lot of times for the B-roll to get the ambient noise, this is the mic that I put on my camera throughout all of that. I never use this on a real shoot. I don't know why I keep it in my bag. I use it more to like light up the back of my truck at night uh, once the sun goes down, but this is an Aperture ALMC uh, multicolor light that can be any color. I know people who swear by these things. I've never found a practical use for one. Sometimes I put this in the background to add an accent to my lighting, but this lives in my camera bag sometimes. Next, I can't recommend this anymore, but I keep a Narbox 2.0 in my camera bag and I love this thing. I don't know if you can still buy them. The company like was forfeited. Um, the, the app that you need to actually configure it when you buy it doesn't exist anymore. So if you do find a place that'll sell one to you, you won't be able to make it work, which is heartbreaking. If that changes, I will update something in the description. But um, for the past year or so, it's been real bad news about Narbox. Uh, but for me, I can put my SD cards in here. It's got USB-C, two ports where I can connect an unlimited number of hard drives to this. So usually I put two or three on here and I can go without a laptop or anything back up all my footage onto this thing into the field uh, from an SD card, from a uh, 
CF Express Type B or A or whatever the, the Sony uses. I can connect any card reader to this, anything, and back up the footage, and that's a lovely, lovely peace of mind uh, to throw in the bag. SD cards, I keep this little Pelican card holder which is just a great, I've had some that like, it's really tricky to get the, the cards out. This has a nice soft foam that makes it really easy to get the cards in and out, holds them snugly, um, and it's waterproof and all that stuff. So little Pelican SD card case. I also keep a color checker passport um, by x -Trite. And I don't use this that often. I have a, a full size one that I keep with my slate. And so on bigger shoots, I'm bringing the slate and the audio stuff anyway, so I don't mind it. But every once in a while to be able to color balance, to check exposure, um, this goes a long way. I don't think I've ever actually used the color chart on here to balance color on anything I've done. Um, but I guess it's nice to have and it takes up no room in the bag, so it lives there. And then the only other two things that I keep in here are, well, I guess three things. I have a Sharpie that I've never used, but it's cute and figure one day I might need it, so it's in there. Um, but I keep an Insta360 Go which is this tiny little camera. It's not the highest quality. This is what I fly on my FPV drone when I'm flying. It's really lightweight, like everything's contained in here. Like there's a little hard drive in there. You can't even put SD cards in it, but handy little camera that has this tiny little form factor. And what I like about it is it comes with this case that has a sticker on it. So you can stick this to stuff two walls, two overhead thing, whatever you want, you can stick this on things and you end up with footage that you couldn't get in another way, that you'd have to mount. I mean, even to put a phone in some places, it's heavier, you've gotta have a mount. Like, this is just a really, really quick, easy way to get a shot that you wouldn't be able to get easily with another camera. So, just for that alone, I keep it in there and I throw shots from this in, especially behind the scenes stuff, using this camera a lot. And, I keep an Insta360 One X2. Man, they've got clunky names. Uh, but this is a 360 camera that I use, and this was in my bag, except I was using it right before we started filming. Uh, but this is the selfie stick that comes with it, which extends out to, I don't know, five feet. I don't know what that is. But you can connect the camera to here and get some really cool shots with this. This is neat. Um, and again, great for behind the scenes and great for adding just one really interesting shot to a project that you wouldn't be able to get with a different camera. But I've also used this to mount a microphone on in a pinch as a boom pole when I was out in the middle of nowhere, didn't have the space in my luggage to bring a full size boom pole, but I needed something that would reach a little bit. And using this little thing to put a microphone on that I could extend out and have an actual boom mic over somebody went a lot further than I thought it would. Um, so for that reason, I, I, I enjoy this little selfie stick more than I ever thought I would. As a professional videographer with, with a selfie stick, I think I carried some guilt, but uh, I found some actual practical applications for it. And so it typically lives in my bag with everything else. So that's everything that's in my camera bag. Again, I keep my audio in a different bag. I keep my drone and my gimbal in a different bag and my Basecamp ND and Matbox in a different bag. But this is my camera bag. This is what I use for shooting most of my B-roll. If you've got any questions, if you've got any thoughts or suggestions, feel free to throw them in the comments. That's all I got. Have a great day or night or whatever, wherever. See you later. Bye.